Have you ever encountered a carnivorous plant in New England? There's around nine native species of carnivorous plants in New England, with the purple pitcher plant being the only pitcher plant in the region. These resilient plants primarily thrive in sphagnum moss bogs with nutrient-poor acidic soils across North America's northeastern, mid-Atlantic, Midwest, southeastern regions, and southeastern Canada. The plant gets its nutrients by trapping and digesting insects with its distinctive purplish-green pitchers covered in deep purple or reddish veins. These leaves can vary in size from a few inches to over a foot tall and have a nectar-like substance around the rim of the pitcher attracting insects. Once the insects start feeding, they fall into the interior of the pitcher, often smooth or lined with downward-pointing hairs to prevent prey from escaping. The vessel is filled with water, digestive enzymes, and in some cases, certain species of bacteria, protozoa, and insect larvae that live in the water inside the pitcher plant. These organisms break down the prey, allowing the plant to absorb the nutrients. Unlike some other pitcher plants that rely solely on rainwater to fill the pitchers, the purple pitcher plant retains rainwater and enhances it with digestive enzymes. This allows it to maintain its traps even in drier conditions. The plant's unique flowers, elevated on tall stalks above the pitchers, ensure that bee pollinators are not captured, facilitating effective pollination. The purple pitcher plant primarily spreads through seeds, producing numerous seed capsules after pollination. It also spreads efficiently through rhizome division, forming dense colonies of genetically identical plants. Native Americans highly valued the purple pitcher plant for its medicinal properties. It was used in traditional remedies for smallpox and to treat wounds, digestive issues, respiratory ailments, and fevers.